The Offset Paths command is incredibly useful in Illustrator as it lets you offset a path to a specified value from the path's original location. The Offset Path can be applied as an operation or as an effect. Let's take a look at one example of how the Offset Path feature can be used. I'm beginning this video with the offset underscore paths.ai file already open on my machine. And what I'd like to do is put kind of like a outline around the Badlands portion of this logo. And I don't just want to apply a stroke because I'd like to make it look a lot larger than it currently is. And when the sections overlap, I'd like it to be kind of a smooth transition. And that's something that a typical stroke can't do for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Badlands text, and this particular text is now a outline, but it's also grouped together. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come up here to the Object menu, and I'm going to go down to Path, and I'm going to choose Offset Path. Now what this is going to do is it's going to bring up the Offset Path dialog, and it's going to allow me to specify a value. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure this is set to 0.10 of an inch and the joins basically where the edges join together we could choose mitered round or beveled so depending on your liking you can choose whichever one you wish I'm gonna go with round and the miter limit doesn't apply to this particular join only if you're using a miter join so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the preview to take a look at what this is doing so you can see it's basically starting with the original path and then offsetting it to a certain value. I think we might be able to go a little bit bigger. Let's go ahead and try 0.12 and that's going to extend that a little bit more. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK and you'll notice now that we have a new kind of shape that's been created. And if I click on this and drag it, you'll notice that it moves the whole thing, basically the original path and the offset path. So I'm going to undo that for a second. What I'd like to do is come up here to the object menu and choose ungroup because you'll be able to see if I click off of this and click back on that we do in fact have two shapes now. So I'm just going to shift click on the outermost shape on each one of these letters. I'm just holding down the shift key so I can select all of them at one time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my Pathfinder panel. So if I go to the window menu, come down to Pathfinder, I can choose the first option, which is Unite. And that is basically going to merge these shapes together as one piece of art. Now I'm going to change the color of this. Let's go ahead and go to our Swatches panel. I'll choose this dark green color. And then I'm going to go to the Object menu and choose Arrange, Send to Back to send that darker shape behind all of the other shapes. And when I click off of it, you can see the effect that we end up with once the offset path has been applied. Remember too that these are now two separate shapes. We have the background, there it is, I'll just go ahead and undo that using Command Z or Control Z. And then we have the original shape, and we can go ahead and shift click on all of these to select them. And then go ahead and go to Object and choose Group to group them together so that we can now work with each one independently. Now the offset path command can also be applied as an effect, where this one was applied as an operation, creating two separate and independent paths. We can apply it as an effect, which will be applied as another element of the same piece of text. So again, I'm just going to marquee these shapes with my selection tool, and I'm going to come over here to my appearance panel. And I'll just open this up so we can see more of the content in here. And what I'm going to do is down here at the bottom of the appearance panel, I'm going to click on the add new fill button. And that's basically going to add another fill to this object. So we have the first fill up here at the top. We have the second fill down here at the bottom. So for this particular fill, let's click on this and I'm going to choose the dark green again. Now, the interesting thing here is that we're not going to really be able to see it at this point because the first fill is covering up the second fill and that's fine but we're just going to make sure that we have this second fill or the bottom fill selected now I'm going to go to the effect menu I'm going to come down to path and I'm going to choose the same command offset path only this time we're applying it as an effect 
So for the offset, we'll do 0.12. The join will be set to round. And let's go ahead and turn on the preview to see what happens. And now you'll see that we're essentially achieving the same result, but with a different type of command. This is now going to be an effect that can be altered. So I'll go ahead and click OK. Notice now we have the same end result. But with this one on the bottom, I still am working off the original shape. But the offset path command has been applied as an effect to each individual shape, which is pretty powerful. I'm going to go ahead and marquee all of these shapes. Once again, we're not seeing a path around the dark green shape because that's being applied as an effect. But what we can do is we can come down here to this fill. We can change the color quite easily. It's going to change it to maybe a lighter green. And then what we can also do is if we click on the triangle next to the fill, we can see that the offset path is being applied to this fill. Let's say, for example, that we decide after the fact that maybe we haven't offset that path quite enough. That's the power of applying this operation as an effect versus a command. So what I can do here is if I double click on the FX button, I can say, well, let's go a little bit bigger. And we can see the previous value we used. Let's just change it to a little bit bigger value. And when I click OK, we've now expanded it that much more. I think that background does look better using the darker color. So let's go ahead and change that back. And as you've seen here, the offset path feature can be applied in several different ways. There's no right or wrong way to use this feature. However, applying it as an effect is a little bit more flexible. The only thing that is required is your imagination to achieve the artwork that you're looking for.